Good afternoon, NSIS. I just wanted to create a short video to show you how you could create a link for your students so that you have to be in the actual Google Meet. It will not allow them to join in until you are there. So this is just one of the ways. I know there are other ways to do this, but it was the easiest way for me since I've used Google Classroom before. So I'm just going to Google, Google Classroom. You know that we do not use Google Classroom, but I'm going to click Google Classroom. And within here, I have classes that I've already set up. Now to set up a class, it's very easy. You would go to create class, class name, Mr. Petruska, team time. Section, we would just say 207 if you want, subject room, that's all up to you on how you want to put these things, and these can always be edited. So once I create that, it will create an actual class for me. Now, if you wanted your students to sign up, this is a good way to be able to email all your students without having to create your own um, a contact list within Google. But so once I'm on this page, if you notice, there's a class code. This is if you would want your students to join the class. Um, again, the cool thing about that is when I've used it, if you had all of your students link up to this and you went to people, you could go down here and just hit email all students or select a few instead of always having to type it in. But some of you I know have created a contact list. So if I go back in here, it says meet link, generate meet link. So that's all I'm going to do is generate a meet link. Generate it. I'm now going to copy it, save. And now today what I've done, well, over the weekend I did was, you're seeing Schoology. I ended up going into this week's folder and updated Google Meet class links, updated. Yes, I had some students message me that I cannot get in, I cannot get in, and then eventually they were able to get in and I was able to explain that to them. Um, so this is one way that you can keep students from out of your classroom um until you get in Every, all the other features are the same again if you look back into mine i'm going if i go back to the very beginning this shows that i have a team time one i have my four math classes block one two three four i have a social studies one that i we were testing around with my home room right here and you can go just through it look at different things. There are some, I know that we're using Schoology, a lot of websites allow you to just share different items from their page, like our math book that sixth grade has. There's a link in there, it says upload to Google Classroom. And I will upload it there and I'll just use the link within it to copy over into Schoology. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Again, I hope this helps for teachers that are looking to not have their students in the call before you actually get in there. And I think one other feature before I let you go is if you remove a student, they cannot get back in or they get put in a waiting room of some sort, kind of like Zoom was. So if there's a student that's not being appropriate, they would get kicked out. All right. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Have a great day.